Now, you may not know it, this is a great story, but Kent has its own links to royalty. Oh, yes, it does, because Queen Marie of Romania was a British princess born in Ashford, no less, in 1875. She was Queen Victoria's granddaughter, and tomorrow a plaza in Tunisia will be named after her. Dr Dan Stoanescu will be there. He's Romania's ambassador to Tunisia, and he joins us from the capital, Tunis. Good afternoon to you, Dan. Good afternoon, Erica. It's a pleasure to be on the BBC. Well, it's a great pleasure for us to talk to you, Dan. We're very, very happy indeed. Tell us, first of all, how did a British princess born in Kent end up as the Queen of Romania? Well, it's a very interesting story. As you know, probably in the 19th century, uh, royalty from all over Europe married each other. So this way, uh, Princess Mary of Edinburgh who was uh, Queen Victoria's uh, granddaughter, and she was um, she was the daughter of Prince Alfred, uh, who was born in Eastwell Park. Uh, she married King Ferdinand of Romania, and she became in 1914 Queen of Romania, Queen Mary of Romania. It's a great story. Uh, why is this plaza being named after Queen Marie today? Because we have very good relations. Romania and Tunisia have a common path in a way. Uh, as you probably know, Romania had its own revolution in 1989 uh, after the fall of communism. And Tunisia had its own revolution, uh, the Jasmine Revolution, in, uh, in 2011. And Romania and Tunisia are sharing a lot of uh, a lot of experiences together, and we, as the Romanian embassy in Tunis, we're we're supporting Tunisia on the path to democracy. And on this path, there are many exchanges in in terms of uh, of um, of a transitional uh, of transitional de democracy, and uh, a lot of uh, exchanges in terms of culture, in terms of uh, of economics. And uh, the naming uh, a, a plaza after Queen Mary of Romania is an honor bestowed upon us by the mayor of Tunis, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Mrs. Suad Abderrahim, who has a very good relationship with the local authorities in Romania. She visited Romania quite several times, and at local levels we have excellent relationships uh, between Romania and Tunisia. Now, she was very popular, partly because she worked as a nurse during World War I. Can you tell me more about that? Absolutely. Queen Mary of Romania, she was a hero for Romanians all over the, all over the world because uh, between, the, uh, between uh, this period, uh, uh, during the First World War, she was a nurse, uh, uh, supporting, supported the civilian population when Romania was occupied by, uh, by the German troops. And uh, she was also a great diplomat for Romania. She represented our country at the Paris Peace Conference, and uh, she managed to, um, to to represent Romania in a, in a absolutely royal uh, fashion. And uh, Romania, after the First World War, became Greater Romania. She, we were one of the countries that won the First World War, and of course, we were an ally of Great Britain. Now, you're going to be reading a message from the foreign minister tomorrow. Can we get a little sneak peek of what that will say? Well, the foreign minister of Romania is honoured to, um, to, to, um, to salute this, uh, this um, memorable event as a, as a, um, as a show of uh, the strength of Romanian and Tunisian uh, relations. And hopefully in, in the future, we will also have a similar event in Bucharest honoring a, a great Tunisian personality. And we are really happy this event is taking place around the birth of uh, Queen Mary of Romania. As I said earlier, she was born in Eastwell Park near Ashford 145 years ago on the 29th of October. Tomorrow will be 27th of October, so just two days before her birthday. Oh, amazing. Uh, now, Queen Marie was very much involved in some of the biggest political affairs of her time, such as the Treaty of Versailles? 
Exactly. She she was the one that uh, met uh, President Wilson at the at the uh, Paris Peace Conference, and she she lobbied for Romania. She met the Clemenceau, the Prime Minister of uh, France, and also, of course, the Prime Minister of Britain and the British royal family. As you as you know, as she she was uh, Princess Mary of Edinburgh before uh, marrying the King uh, of Romania, King Ferdinand, the Unifier, as is. Uh, as he is known around uh, around Romania, uh, she she managed to bring the royal family of uh, Britain closer to Romania, and I'm happy even today at the royal level we have excellent relationship, a excellent relationship with the uh, with the United Kingdom. Prince Charles comes very often to Romania, especially in Transylvania. Our royal family, although we are today a republic, our royal family is very active in the public life and also visited Britain. So even today, Queen Marie, she's a, she's a strong link between Romania and Britain. And now between uh, Romania, Britain and even Tunisia, we invited also the British Embassy tomorrow to this event. Well, we wish you every luck tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful afternoon for you all, Dan. I could speak to you for the rest of the afternoon. I really could. Dr. Dan Stoenescu, Romania's ambassador to Tunisia, who's going to be there when that square is named after Queen Marie tomorrow. What an exciting story. Thank you for speaking to us today, Dan. Thank you very much, Erica. It's BBC Radio Kent. I'm Erica North. Love to hear what you think of Queen Marie. Maybe you live near her statue. Have you seen it in Ashford? Because it is there. Please do get in touch. 81333 on the text, starting your message with the word Nobody Kent. Knows it.